Hey man, say man, bruh. Okay, hold on. Let's get to the grind, man. Notification game, check. Well, we lit then. What's poppin'? All right, fam. Uh, ball chicken in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hit that like button. Please start y'all the real. All right, fam. Salute. In the way, oh, first, we got the rapper. Okay, so a lot of rappers out here doing their thing, fam. And some people see the cars, the designer, the thoughts, and the money and think to themselves, I want that too. And that's how they start off wanting to be a rapper. But on the other hand, you got some people that's actually passionate about the crowd. And this is something they wanted to do all their lives. And when you try to do this, the goal is to get signed. And to keep it 1000, these artists coming up with all kind of ways to get the right person attention. Just the other day, a producer that be out here up on the all the rappers tweets. I'm talking about time they tweet something. He up on the it posted a video of his beats. And fam. It actually worked, bro, because PMB Rock responded to him and said, send him some beats. Like the old saying goes, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But that doesn't mean all of them will go in, bro. Yeah. Still, you got to respect the efforts of any artist that working hard trying to get noticed, fam. But it seems like Rick Ross made a mistake when he said this. I know you're real proud to have it in this part of town. How come? I wanted to be in the streets, you know, so when people come through, they might see the boss. Yeah, all right. I wanted to be in the streets, you know, so when people come through, they might see the boss. Yeah. Because one rapper didn't want to tweet his link to Ross on social media. He didn't want to DM Ross on Instagram. Hell no, fuck that. He wanted to rob Wingstop in hopes of getting Ross' attention so he can get signed. Well, Greg, as some of our viewers may know, rapper Rick Ross owns the Wingstop, and police say this suspect was trying to get his attention, but really all that happened is he ended up here in jail instead of in the recording studio. In 2012, rapper Rick Ross opened a new wing stop in Memphis. It got the attention of a lot of people, including police say Cedric Miller. The 23-year-old is now in jail, accused of attempting this robbery, all caught on surveillance camera. They came in and jumped over the counter, and they were trying to get money out. WREG showed that surveillance video Friday night. By Monday, police say they got a tip identifying one suspect. They brought Miller in, and one of the wing stop employees identified identified him from a lineup. Police then arrested him, but they told the Wingstop manager about a motive, that he was an aspiring rapper trying to get the attention of Rick Ross. I think that's a ridiculous way to get somebody's attention. I mean, how are you going to get his attention now if you're sitting in jail? It could, you know, I don't know, but I don't know if he's going to get signed or nothing like that if that's the, if that was the case, so I, I, I doubt it. We wanted to find out more about Miller's intentions, so we went to his address in a Fraser apartment complex about nine miles away. Does he live here? The person who was home closed the door on us saying she doesn't know him. Fam, I can't make this stuff up, bro. If you want to get the right person attention, learn from his mistakes. Don't do it that way. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Also, follow me on the gram and Twitter. Links are in the description. Also, if you haven't, hit that sub button and hit that bell beside it so you get notification anytime I upload. We on that too, Hana. K. Grind. Up, ball. Go.